Welcome to this video about how to calculate the orbital radius of the Earth. It's also known as the semi-major axis, and below I've written it as A equals 1AU. So A is known as the semi-major axis, and 1AU is one astronomical unit, which hopefully we will get to towards the end of the video. So in order to calculate that, we need to know some things about the Earth's orbit first. So for example, we need to calculate the orbital period, and we can do that using parallax measurements. So this is where we would measure the parallax angle over six months. So six months apart, you would look at foreground stars, so nearby stars, and the relative position of background stars, and you'd get a parallax angle between them. So if you were to monitor that throughout a year, the parallax angle should then cycle, and you could then measure the orbital period. So one full cycle of that parallax angle is going to give you your um, orbital period of the Earth. Now, that gives us a value of about 365.25 days, and we can then use that in this equation here. So the orbital period equation is given, and it has A, which is your semi-major axis, and the mass of the sun. That's all we really need. We've got the orbital period now. Now, if we then rearrange that for the semi-major axis, we've got this equation. So there, we only need those two things, the orbital period, and the mass of the sun. Now we know what the orbital period is now because we've had to go calculating that. And let's assume that we already know the mass of the sun from some other measurement. So another technique has been used to get the, the mass of the sun. So if we put in the mass of the sun and the orbital period, we should get out the below, which is a rather large number in meters. It's about 1.49 times 10 to the 10 meters. And that is known as one astronomical unit. So that is the average distance between the Earth and the Sun. And because it's a, a standard astronomical unit, we can then use it for measuring other things at larger scale because that's a rather large number. But if we make that as one, we can then measure bigger distances and then make a little bit more sense. So thank you for watching.